Did you hear about that earthquake in Nepal, Dad? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think they're saying something like over 8,500 people were killed. Centuries-old Buddhist and Hindu temples were totally destroyed. Heartbreaking. Entire houses were ruined. Villages were flattened. Awful. What if we went over there to help? Maybe we could lend a hand and help clear out some of the devastation or something. Are you kidding? It's destroyed. Nothing but a pile of bricks. There's a Christian seminary here in Kathmandu? Yep, it's brand new. That can't be right. And that's what you said about finding a church? Yeah, but it's got to be just a pile of bricks. Hey here, we were wondering if maybe you could show us around the theological college. Yeah, it's okay. You are most welcome in our Nesson Theological College. Well, thank you very much. So, why don't you, uh, we'll back away here, just kind of show us, what, what do we have here, if we're, if we're looking up at the place? Yeah, uh, this is my room, where I used to stay with my wife as a family, and this is ladies' room. So who's it, room? It is only for girls. Oh, for the girls. For the girls. Then the middle one was the, is the, what can I say, the office, as well as that last one, is the boys' room. Okay, then turn around, and so we have the... Uh... This, is, this is our boys' toilet, and this is girls' toilet, and this is the middle one, our, our bathroom. The, the, uh, the school really looks very new. How, how, how old is it? Can you tell us a little history? It is uh, only... It is two months before it is built. Uh, what degrees do you, do you uh, teach here? Uh, we used to give... The BTS degree over here, Bachelor of Theology, and we used to give that degree as well as DTS, Diploma in Theology also. So you don't have much kitchen materials. Do you have uh, propane? Sorry? Do you have propane? Yeah. No, uh, the gas is getting started. We don't have gas since um, two months. So there is no gas? Yeah, there is no more gas. So how are you cooking? We are cooking with the wood. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this is our temporary kitchen because of shortage of gas. We don't have gas, so those are woods. Those are our woods. We used to cut into the pieces and we used to burn it for cooking the curries and everything. This is our oven. The oven? Oven. How do you cook? We used to put uh, the wood from here as well as here. Then we we used to keep vessel over here and cooking over here. Because I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to the spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone. And that is our oil. That's from your where, oil. yeah, from where we used to use water. It is too deep. It has eighty-three rings. So does that make it difficult to get? Yeah, it is very difficult. But still, then we are using by drawing water from this kind of bucket. So, okay, can you drink it? Yeah, we, do, we don't drink it. I see also some clothes here. Are, are people doing their laundry? Yeah, just they are washing their clothes. And how are they doing the laundry? Do they wash it in this? Yeah, uh, from every day they used to wash. They got away. At, at, at the time of afternoon. Well, they look, they look very clean. <laughs> yes. Okay. There was hope in him was life, and the life was the light of me. And the light seems in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend in it. Since there was a, a man sent from God, whose name was John, seven this man come. So here we have the girl's born, and here we have a tune. Yeah. Go ahead, take a shot of that five. So what do we have here? Hey, girl. 
Five girls is just ten, yeah. yeah. And the girls all have their own. Yeah. Phone? Yeah. Yeah. Don't I have much book? Those are uh, for books and the mm -hmm. And you do have a computer. Maybe you can show us the computer. <laughs> yeah, this is this is yeah. computer. You can show us the computer. This is our computer. And once the, the computer was at the time of earthquake, it was fallen down and it was destroyed. So the earthquake destroyed the computer. Destroyed the computer. The computer. Boys drove. There are boys drove that. that uh, two, three people used to, three students used to get edges over here. I came from the Nepal district, so called Udaipur Gai Ghat. And I born and brought over there. And actually, I went for my study in India. And I studied in Siliguri BTS, Bachelor of Theology, as well as uh, after that I worked as pastor three years over there. And then again, 2011, uh, eight, 2008, I left Siliguri and I went for my further study in Bangalore. I did my Master's of Divinity, Master degree from Bangalore, and I came and I where I did my bachelor in Siliguri, I taught over there two years. And again, I worked as pastor over there two years again. And I came and I'm serving as dean. Bread for these people to eat. Six, he asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Seven, Philip answered him. In early morning from 4.30 to 5.30, once, and then the noon devotion, uh, from 2 to 3 p.m. and the 6 to 7 p.m. again. So you have morning prayer at 4.30 in the morning? 5.30. Uh, hours. How many, how many days a week? F five days. Five, five days. Six days. And what do they do on the other day? Other days also they are doing... Um, actually, this, uh, this Saturday... There's no more devotion at all because the Saturday service will be there. So. All right, Saturday service, you're in church. Sent. So he went and washed and came back seen. And therefore, the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, It's not this he who said and begged. And some said, This is he. Others said, he is like him. He said, I am he. It's clear. This is a non-denominational Protestant Christian college, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So what different types of denominations do you have? We have uh, different de denominations, like even the student has come from the uh, Church of God background also. And another thing, from Nigerian background, as well as from Anglican, some students are from the uh, even Presbyterian also, and some from inter independent churches. Mm -hmm. And uh, the career path for these students, they, they are going to go out and evangelize the villages in Nepal. Sure, yeah. yeah, definitely they'll go and they just produce the fruits for the God's kingdom. I hope that. Amen. Wow, that place is amazing. I wonder how many of them were born Christians. Not too many, I don't think. Most were born Hindu or Buddhist. Boy, I'd love to catch a service up in those villages.